And welcome to South Sudan in Focus on the Voice of America. I'm John Tanza in Washington. Here are some of the stories we are covering today, Wednesday, May 21st, 2014. The U.S. Special Envoy to Sudan and South Sudan says now the international donors have stepped up. It is President Kiir's and Riyak Stan to make good on their promises. We need to hold the leadership to the agreements that they've signed. Uh, it's important for the people of South Sudan that the fighting stops. And more deaths are reported in South Sudan cholera outbreak. Situation that requires a very dramatic action from everyone who understands the levels of suffering in South Sudan. We'll have these stories and more coming up on South Sudan in focus. The U.S. Special Envoy to Sudan in South Sudan is the international donor community has increased of more than to everyone who has been affected by the fighting, regardless of which side they are on. Andrew Green has more for VOA from Juba. Speaking at the close of the Oslo Donors Conference, Special Envoy Donald Booth says it is time the warring parties stop fighting and allow food, water, and emergency supplies to reach the hundreds of thousands of people who need it. We need to hold the leadership to the agreements that they've signed. Uh, it's important for the people of South Sudan that the fighting stop so that not only can humanitarian assistance come through, but so that the confidence to begin to address the political issues underlying the conflict, uh, that those talks can proceed. Booth says the next step is to deploy...